Hi, it's Nick. Welcome to a new month, um, November the 1st. And a haircut as well to go with it, a fresh haircut. So, that's a, a big thought for today, but I've called it the hope for humanity. And the reason I'm talking about this today in relation to integrating our shadow is that I came across a quote from Carl Jung many years ago that just kind of almost had a visceral reaction when I read it. I had a vis visceral reaction. I'm just going to read it off my screen here. It says, the hope for humanity is that we retrieve our shadow from our neighbor. And when I kind of read that, I went, whoa, that's a big idea. That is a very big idea. Um, and I think it's true that, you know, I've, I've alluded to it already, you know, in the previous couple of um, uh, episodes. But the idea that, you know, what we're doing here is we're really projecting our shadow onto other people all the time and wanting to be right about it and, and going to war and destroying people because we think they're really horrible and we're really good or they're evil and we're the good guys. You know, that's what, to a large extent, is happening here. <laughs> You know, we are projecting our shadow onto each other. That's what um, this, this life on earth is, is about. And the hope for humanity is to be able to go, y you're not really who I'm making you out to be, are you? I'm, I'm just seeing you that way. That's not who you really are. Uh, I am a student, many of you know, of A Course in Miracles. And in A Course in Miracles, it, it talks about perception being projection that what we perceive is our shadow that we've projected onto other people. That's what we're seeing. If we're not seeing them as our brothers or our sisters or our friends, you know, if we've got a grievance with them, it's because that's what we are doing. We're, we're seeing them as our shadow projected outwards. So that's why we don't like people, because we're looking at them as how we don't, what we don't like about ourselves. So I think that is a lot of what's going on here. And there's another lovely line from A Course in Miracles that says the holiest spot on earth is where a, an ancient hatred becomes a present love. And I would suggest that another way of thinking about that is that when we heal our shadow, when we take back our shadow, when we integrate it and, and um, in a way kind of forgive it, you know, which is really about acceptance and integration, that's a holy act. You know, when we own our shadow, it's a holy thing to do. So, powerful thoughts for today. Um, I will quote. Uh, I will share these little quotes um, underneath the video, um, so you'll have them. I hope it's helpful. I hope it's got you thinking. God bless. Have a good day. Bye bye.